interesting matchup between these two teams. The last couple of meetings have been one point games. 23 22 was the score. Ticats outplayed the Stampeders, but Calgary prevailed to dive a win. Here we go in the rematch at McMahon and Landon Talley. All the way up close to the 40 yard line. Remains in second and 10. Glenn and look out, Dwight Anderson with the interception. Foot race and look at him, pull away. Kevin Glenn can't catch him. And Dwight Anderson has his second touchdown of the year. 85 yards, Anderson for a Stampeder defensive touchdown. Their seventh of the season. Dwight Anderson steps in front of that curl, reads the mail and is gone. For Dale's pressure, and it's blocked by Yannick Carter. And Marquise Knowlton comes down with the football. So a punt block for the Hamilton Tiger Cats. And the Tiger Cats, their first big play of the football game. Second and goal from the seven. Glenn looks for the long out. He's got it. Touchdown. A Hamilton Tiger Cat record. Glenn to Stella. And it's touchdown number 30 on the year for Kevin Glenn. And Dave Stella wants to hit YouTube again. <laughs> A potential Grey Cup preview, isn't it? I want to drag you into this with me. <laughs> Drag down a stick pen, mishandled, and Jawan Simpson's on the football. There were flags before that ball even arrived. So a turnover by thick pen and a holding call against Ray Marius. Tycats looking for a goal line stand, take the head, and this time he's in a Calgary touchdown. And this time, Drew Tate doesn't take a step laterally. This time, he just takes the ball and goes straight ahead. Of a game, 10th in the league rushing, a pump one way and deep the other, looking for Robbie Bryant. He's got it. Got behind Ryan Hines. It's a touchdown as Bryant wins the battle. And he goes over 1,000, like teammate Kenyon Rambo. And by a yard, that's his biggest play of the season. We might see more of Jabari Arthur in the second half. And Burris just gets that away, and it's a catch for Ryan Thelwell, and it's been a while between catches. That's his first since August the 15th. Pressure, Burris gets it away, and it's another touchdown. No, did he catch it? Yes. Touchdown signal. What a first half explosion for the Calgary Stampeders against the Hamilton defense that had been the stingiest in the CFL coming into this week. Second and four. Burris hit as he threw, but he's got a completion. And Robbie Bryant is in again. Third touchdown of the game. He has 14 on the year. Just like the earlier long touchdown to Robbie Bryant, he cuts across the face. This time it's Bo Smith. And if Robbie Bryant's even, he's leaving. He's two for eight outside the 40. And from 44 yards out, he's going to be short. So that's been a, a problem. And this was being returned. And only Maver can catch him. How about Marcus Thigpen? He's going to do it again. Thigpen with his fourth touchdown return of the season. Here's Drew Tate looking for Rambo, oh. and what a catch. In traffic, it's still going, he doesn't want to go down. Wow. Fourth quarter, a lead of 24, and still getting effort like that, that's impressive. Young quarterback will try and cap the drive, first and goal. At the five, and Reynolds is gonna cut it back, got a block from Tate for the touchdown. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> There you go. That, th those are ones that are fun. <laughs> Th those are the ones that are fun when the whole team gets to watch the game back. Joffrey Reynolds smiling. At, I think he's smiling because of the block that sprung him from number four. So it's a tie cat first down at the Calgary 30. And the run to the left side. Thickpin is able to get it outside. Cuts it back. And Marcus Thickpin has another touchdown. Wow. 111 yards on a missed field goal return. And now a nifty 30-yard 
run to the end zone. Gonna get a steady diet here, and look at Jesse Lumsden, another first down run. He's given it a full year and more. Fourth consecutive carry, and Jesse Lumsden, <laughs> touchdown! Well, even in a game that has been decided for a long time, it's big a, for him. That's a pretty special moment, isn't it? Yeah, it's big, big for him. And they're the team to beat in the West, and maybe in the Canadian Football League in 2010, John Huffnagel's crew cruising to a convincing 55-24 victory over Marcel Belfay's Tiger Cats.